to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. James chapter 4 and verse 3. Apostle James is schooling us in prayer. And he's saying that there is a possibility that men can ask and yet not receive. And he tells us why. Because ordinarily, everyone that asketh should receive. But he's saying there exists a possibility that you can ask and still not receive. He says, because you ask amiss. You ask amiss. Amiss means out of patterns. And the pattern is give us this day. You can't say give me everything. You must mention what you desire. He said, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them. What things soever ye desire. No assumptions. Give us this day our daily bread. Are you ready to pray? You're going to open your mouth and mention everything or every area you need a visitation. No assumption. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Lift your voice and pray. No assumption. No assumption. If it's healing in your body, declare it. If it's a yoke that has sat upon your destiny, declare it. Hallelujah. 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 Now, here's how we do it here. Please listen. Whilst, whilst I begin to minister, for the sake of time, we have so many things to do this night, and I don't intend to keep us here beyond our normal time. So let me advise you up front, if you are yet to write your prayer request, we have a structure here that somewhere, um, as, we, as the meeting is ongoing, we'll collate all the requests even those online you can do well to just send in your prayer requests and we'll pray so if you're yet to do that please do that number two if a word comes now please hear this i need to tell us this it doesn't mean that if a prophetic word does not come carrying your name or carrying descriptions that directly relate to you it doesn't mean god is not speaking to you you see the way god works is that what he says to one he says to all so if for instance god is speaking over someone who is trusting god for the fruit of the womb even though it is that particular case i may want to see here but it doesn't mean that every other person cannot connect are we together now if god is speaking concerning maybe captivity over a family and then if a prophetic word directly relates to you please do well to save us time by coming at least or indicate if you're not within this auditorium so that we know these are some of the things that take away so much time it's not a vigil so we're limited are we together there's a lot we have to do we have to pray 
uh, for the sick we have to minister deliverance and so on and so forth but i'd like you to believe that this will be your miracle service that this will be your miracle service in the name of jesus christ tonight i'm i'm really sensing and, and it's a very strange way but i'm sensing that god wants to begin tonight by ministering to those who are in ministry ministers of the gospel those who are currently in ministry and this is what this is what the holy spirit is ministering to me there are people who have churches there are some of you who have groups and for some they just came for greater levels of fire you don't have to come out i want to pray for you and for some of you you have the call of god upon your life but you do not even know and the holy ghost has been looking for you some of you you are the ones destined to lift your family and god has been speaking to you this is the miracle service where he finally finds you hallelujah 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 i pray right now for everyone who is in ministry and has not been producing the kind of results that the bible says should follow or those who have the genuine call of god upon their lives please i want you to bring those under the anointing as i pray this prayer right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i stretch my hands may fire from heaven rest upon individuals let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit young and old inside and outside i count three one two three take that fire now take that fire now please bring them out very quickly take that fire now in the name of jesus any church that is not growing any man of god who is struggling in ministry i bring you the power of the holy ghost here at this miracle service in the name of jesus christ intercessory groups all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working in the name of jesus some of you your ministries to your families there are altars that god is raising you to fight and tear down i decree and declare young and old may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus ministry with evidence ministry with proof go and be a deliverer with fire go and be a deliverer it doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families i decree and declare right now by the power of the holy ghost let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries multiplied visions prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus let there be an ignition by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries all of you who are out here i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into the grace that has been apportioned for you in the name of jesus step into that grace 
step into that grace right now by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah now alongside these people there are a group of people I want to pray for please hear me the Bible says saviors shall come out of Zion can I tell you every family every territory has men and women who have been selected God wants to permeate families and bring deliverance but there are individuals that God must find wherever they are here if you are the one anointed and ordained that God will raise you to wipe the tears of your family wherever you are under the sound of my voice at the at the count of three may God locate you it's time for your family to arise may God locate you may God locate you young and old saviors arise by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ arise 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 in the name of jesus he has nothing to do with gender male or female if god has raised you whether you are a gideon or deborah may the power of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ all of you in front i declare by the power of the holy ghost let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please let them go back to their seats quickly if they can let them go back to their seats I want to pray a very serious prayer right now this is a miracle service and the prayer i'm about to pray is a major prayer can i tell you this truly truly causes are real truly yokes are real embargoes are real yes the power of god is there to deliver but it does not happen automatically this is why you are here i want you to pay attention there are patterns i will never stop praying this prayer there are families under the sound of my voice the same thing everybody faces in the family if it's retrogression it happens to everybody if it's delayed it happens to everybody right now i want to pray at the count of three whether you are inside or outside i like you to shout that name jesus and as you shout the power of the holy ghost will rest marvelously upon you there are spirits that will not let destinies go free great people some of you have traveled abroad and even returned but nothing is changing my bible says therefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every family here having any charm or any cause or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now bring them out be destroyed now in the name of jesus every spirit that will not let you go i decree and declare be delivered now in the matchless name of jesus please bring them out quickly Help the ushers, whether you are an usher or not, please help them. Hallelujah. We are still praying. We are still praying. The Lord is delivering many, many, many people right now. Every altar that is sitting on anybody's life, 
yokes that will not let you go some of you have dreams you go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes right now by the power of the holy spirit may that fire locate you wherever you are <laughs> hallelujah please pay attention there is a marvelous work that god is doing here there are some of you your oppressions have come in dreams you go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams going back to secondary schools writing exams that don't finish eating all kinds of things fraternizing with dead spirits right now at the count of three makatos kata anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams i declare at the count of three shout jesus again one two three let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now by the power of the holy ghost be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb hallelujah hallelujah i'm hearing a name mabel mabel like m-a-b-e-l is there someone like that we have to hurry up because i want to pray for the sick i'm hearing a name mabel mabel you are wearing something like her tie it's like lime or it's i don't know what color it is is there someone like that mabel what's your name where are you from is the mic working hallelujah what's your name mabel. huh mabel you are mabel you are mabel too who is from cross river i want to pray for you where are you from Pastor. where in cross river okay. i want to pray for you because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing fire and the lord wants to bring deliverance to your family you believe that i want to pray for you there's an elderly woman now i'm seeing the power of god come on that elderly woman you are not young i'm seeing the power of god come on you the lord is bringing salvation to your family your prayer has been your children in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but right now i'm seeing power from heaven please bring the person here my my sister let me pray for you very quickly in the name of jesus christ i decree over your life and over your family everything that has a connection to ancestry by the power of the holy spirit let it be gone right now let it be gone right now it will not follow you to your marriage in the name of jesus christ let it be gone right now in the name of jesus and to you please just help them make sure they don't enjoy themselves to you the other lady mabel i stretch my hands in jesus name let there be a supernatural visitation for your family in the name of jesus i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of the lord let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now bring for me the person who shouts now in this main auditorium loud under the power of god i just heard that sound in my spirit a loud shout this lady there's a lady that that lady placing her hand on her neck please tap her for me lift your hands i'm seeing fire coming on you and the lord is saying he's removing everything that stands as a barrier i don't know what it is but right now let that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ 
that barrier is over now in the name of Jesus Christ that embargo is lifted now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah is there someone with the name Jumai I'm hearing a name Jumai Jumai this is what I'm hearing please if that is not your name please don't come out please let's everybody will be touched let's hurry up because I want Jumai who is that is there someone with such a name Jumai this is what I'm hearing that that's a northern most likely please verify make sure that you oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh. hallelujah the power of God is coming on a businessman now I've seen that everything has failed this year you are into real estate or so this is what I'm real estate or something that has to do with land and construction but I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you now and the Lord is saying he's rewriting your story he's rewriting your story I don't know where that person is but May the power of the Holy Spirit touch you right now, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever, please help him. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, let this be the beginning of a new season. This man, come. You, this man, please come. God is about to change your life. Come. What do you do? What do you do? into real estate you are into real estate stand here god is about to change your life my friend you believe in miracles believe oh please believe in the name of jesus i stretch my hands oh there is something called a prophetic advantage and in the name of jesus by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands and i declare may the power of the holy spirit shift you to a new season shift you to a new season every limitation connected to what you do god who located you and i'm using him as a point of contact if there is anyone here that has been grounded in business that the only thing you see is shame and reproach may that embargo be broken now let it be broken now hallelujah why are they here okay i'm going to pray for you why is he here sir who brought him out here your name is jumai oh you just came out on your own it's okay i'll pray with you no problem it's all ah huh? sir look at me don't be ashamed look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus let it be over now keep him there in the name of jesus every oppression and every yoke over your life now i'm seeing something that looks like i'm seeing a serpent all around this man i declare right now the power of god is coming on one of you right now i just saw like light Cabrande. Jesus Christ God is visiting an ancient altar this is what I'm seeing let it be broken right now now the name of Jesus Christ let it be broken by the power of the Holy Spirit for every one of you who has come out here I'm seeing the Lord bringing I'm seeing this map I always see now and I'm seeing Nasarawa state Nasarawa state the power of God is visiting families from Nasarawa state this is what I'm saying I stretch my hands right now the power of God is going to begin to come upon families there are yokes connected to those regions I declare right now every altar let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus let there be deliverance right now I break those yokes I break those yokes in the name of Jesus Christ for all of you who are here 
madam please lift your hands look at me shame and reproach that's what i'm hearing and reproach let it leave you now never to return to you in the name of jesus christ mama where are you coming from who is huh? kogi state hmm. did you come here alone yes sir. you came here alone whatever connects you to the dead dead like dead people i'm praying this and this is not just for her i'm seeing the number one seven that everything that connects people to dead people they come to you in your dreams when you are sleeping calling you they won't let you rest this is the spirit of death over families i'm i'm going to pray for you mama but i'm using it as a point of contact please take what i'm saying seriously if there is anyone here or any family here appointed unto death right now i declare as i'm praying for our mother here may that that arrow that has been sent to that family let it return back to any devil that sent it let it return let it return to every devil that sent it let it return to every devil that sent it let it return to every devil that sent it in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, Mama. Right now, I stretch my hands. Parusha Katapranta Kogi State. Let there be a miracle. I separate you from the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus. And all of you who are in front here, for whatever reason you are out, in Jesus' name, may God give you a visitation. May God give you a visitation. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you i sense such a strong healing anointing i know that god wants to really really heal the sick we'll hurry up so that we'll start ministering to the sick but i want to pray please stop this woman for me this mama please don't be embarrassed man lift your hands i want to pray for you please stand up stand up the lord wants to remove reproach where are you coming from ma Don't, don't cry madam don't worry you are, you are here before the lord you see sometimes you may not know what kind of oppression people go through you see people laughing clapping hands lifting holy hands but there are people who are standing it's like they are standing on hot coals while they worship the lord hallelujah let me pray for you madam in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you you were going and the lord said i should stop you i declare that shame and reproach over your family and over your own life the spirit i want to pray here there is a spirit that makes people to be misunderstood where your evil becomes good your good becomes evil or there are people here it has happened to many people even in their workplace you do good things but people misinterpret what you are doing you know when bishop oyedeko started ministry our father and the lord this is what he said that one time they were praying and the church was not growing and he said the lord asked them please help those under the anointing it's a serious prayer i want to pray now he said that the holy spirit asked him to come out and he stood and he looked up and in a vision he saw a thick layer of darkness and he said this is the blindfolding demon that misunderstands what you are doing and he says now rebuke it and he rebuked it and it folded and went and he produced a poster he said come and see and that was it i want to pray for someone here the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of i pray for you if there is any manipulation over your destiny that makes every good thing you do to be misunderstood i break that spirit from off your life now i cut that spirit away from your destiny now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam i declare this is your don't cry this is your liberty right now by the power of the holy spirit 
I'm seeing a family, my God. Ah, you are the only child, not like maybe male or female, you are the only child in that family. And I'm seeing the spirit of hardship. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to that family right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that is. If, if, if there is someone like that, please let me know. I want to pray for you. You are, you are the only child. Only child. You are the only child. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Only child. I want to pray. In the name of Jesus, please stretch your hands towards me. I decree and declare the embargo of hardship and suffering and everything that has kept your... Please make sure you are coming out for this situation. This situation, don't just come out at random. I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare. Honestly, the power of God is coming on you in the mighty name of jesus every connection with yokes of ancestry let it be broken now 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 every yoke sitting on your destiny that you will not move forward i prophesy to you advance in the name of jesus advance in the name of Jesus only child advance in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus advance in the name of Jesus can you imagine only child everyone here I'm praying let them go release their destinies now I'm praying for everybody but there are two people particularly here in front I'm praying this prayer for release their destinies right now release their destinies right now release their destinies right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus release their destinies right now everything holding you down tying you down be delivered in the name of Jesus hallelujah let this be permanent in your life and I pray for you out of you that looks like you are the only one may nations arise 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 in the name of Jesus please return back to your seat Let's pray for the sick now. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. look up many years ago I'm about to pray for the sick I was caught up in the realm of the spirit and I had a vision it was like it was locked down and when I was there I saw people who were very sick people who were, some of them were lying down stretchers and when I looked at it a voice spoke to me from that vision and it says go and heal them all and from that time till forever God has not left himself a witness please hear me some of you are standing here for yourself you are standing here for your loved ones I want you to believe that God is a miracle worker within the few minutes we have here's what we're going to do very quickly some of you already 
this mass ministration has brought all kinds of healing for you and even notable miracles everywhere this is a miracle service as i pray for you and rebuke that sickness here's what i want you to do be bold to do what you could not do before and the moment you find out that there is a miracle for you don't be ashamed don't be afraid i want you to quickly quickly make your way whether you are up the gallery whether you're around in fact some of you as you check yourself now probably I administer to you and you found out that there is a miracle happening to you i like you to come and stand either by my left here or by my right and whilst we are doing that concurrently please i like you to pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle whether left or right and then pr uh, um, or, or ushers all the officials please do well make sure that you collate them and let's have it very quickly let me just give you a minute to tidy up your prayer request and then you stand up and we'll pray for the sick we'll pray for the sick very quickly you can take the second half if you are yet to receive your a, a form or if you are done just pass it to the person do it believing do it believing that God is visiting you Please pass it to the last person. Can you arise? I want to pray for the sick now. Please let's be upstanding. Thank you for your patience. We want to pray for the sick now. I believe in miracles. I have experienced the healing power of Jesus myself in my own life. Please lay your hands right now. Those who are watching from your homes, this is a time to receive. He is healer lay your hands everywhere you're trusting god for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest if you're standing in for someone or with someone go ahead and make that contact everywhere outside make sure you participate please believe god for healing of anything and everything Now unto the one upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound For you are God and God alone Hallelujah Hallelujah Father, you anointed us to be extensions of your healing power to the nations. And right now, I pray over your people. Many have come desiring to receive. Many have come desiring to be healed of all kinds of diseases and sicknesses. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and even with power. And it says he went about doing good and healing they that were oppressed right now i decree and declare everyone here who is oppressed i command the spirit that is back of any infirmity to be gone now in the name of jesus now in the name of jesus now in the name of jesus i declare be healed in jesus name my god already i'm seeing the lord heal someone's someone's limbs i don't know if you're on a wheelchair or you're on crutches but a miracle is happening right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now i decree and declare pain on the head severe migraines the lord is healing right now pain around the joint areas all around the arm in the name of jesus let there be a miracle right now now hear me every cancer cancer or any kind of
cancerous growth we curse you now in the name of Jesus Amen. HIV AIDS be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. everyone who cannot see in the name of Jesus partial or total blindness I command that eyes to open now in Jesus name Amen. anyone who cannot walk I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let life and strength come upon your limbs now in Jesus name Amen. there are many people connecting from several hospitals I decree and declare in the name of Jesus let the power of God from here through the airwaves let it come upon you and bring you life Amen. heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus growth around the body anywhere around the body we command you to give way right now in jesus name there's someone you are having severe pain you've gone to the hospital it's like they said something is happening to your i don't know if it's your nerves or just the bones around your spine right now i'm declaring to you let the healing power of jesus touch you now someone you have like a skin infection i'm seeing several things are happening around your skin it's, it's not necessarily lack of hygiene is that something has happened i don't know some demonic thing i declare let there be healing for you right now the lord is showing me people just the throat area it looks like you swallowed something but it has refused to pass down and it's terribly discomforting the power of god is touching you right now every pain around the chest area be healed right now there's there's a lady the power of god is touching a lady you have a lump in fact multiple lumps on the left side of your breast but as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you right now that devil leaves your body forever in the name of jesus christ huh. this is interesting the lord is healing a man of impotency in the name of Jesus Christ I speak it by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be supernatural healing for you right now let there be supernatural healing for you right now regardless the medical report we change it now in the name of Jesus someone's left ear someone's left ear in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me that there is someone you are having the early stages of prostrate prostrate cancer you are a man in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit wherever you are let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now movement around the body I'm seeing someone having movement. Sometimes you literally feel like something is moving around your body. Help them, please. Help her. I command that devil to leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is that condition where you cannot sleep? In the name of Jesus Christ. Apnea. Sleep apnea. I'm seeing at least three people having that condition, just rolling, rolling on the bed, but never getting to sleep. You are unable to sleep, even if it's for an hour. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, whether in this auditorium or outside, I declare, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Someone just around your wrist, the Lord is bringing a miracle for you. I don't know if it's that you was it a, 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 a some kind of injury or whatever it is i want you to check it right now the power of the holy spirit is stepping upon you in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone who has like malaria or typhoid you've treated it again and again and it has refused to go in fact you came here feeling so sick right now i'm praying for you may the power of the holy spirit touch you where you are in the name of jesus christ now any pain around the bone region whether neck hand the the waist area i declare may the power of the holy spirit touch you right now 
be healed in the name of Jesus someone you are having a problem with your nostrils it's like you don't smell completely or is that you don't smell well in the name of Jesus Christ I am praying for you may the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you now there's someone's child here I'm seeing like like it looks like bipolar you know acting as like madness sometimes a person just begins to talk I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be healing for that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and any condition whether I mention it or not in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me I'm seeing someone your child has autism autism in the name of Jesus Christ I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit may the anointing rest upon that child right now let there be a supernatural miracle in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing like a picture of a woman's womb and instead of seeing a child there I'm seeing like a big mast I'm not a doctor just resting there in the name of Jesus Christ I don't care what is the name of what is there by the power that raised Christ from the dead we command that devil to go out of that womb now we command that devil to leave that womb now in the name of Jesus Christ therefore be healed from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name someone your uncle your uncle I don't know it's like you had a problem with your uncle as I'm praying check it now you will see that that devil has gone the pain is gone completely now please check yourself you find out there is a miracle I want you to run right now miracles are happening everywhere please if they are coming to testify allow them whether they are coming from outside are you celebrating make your way to the front right now the power of God is touching people check yourself do what you couldn't do before look at this look at this look at this a miracle is happening there are you celebrating what God is doing check yourself don't sit back the moment you find out mama has been healed something has happened to mama are you celebrating Jesus more people are coming the Lord is touching people please check yourself check yourself check yourself there's there's someone I was I saw this when I was praying I'm still seeing it I don't know if it's that you could not use your left leg um it's like i don't know if it's that you cannot walk well or you could not walk completely but i'm seeing the lord heal that person wherever you are check yourself if you are seated or you're on a crutch stand up and trust god for healing stand up check yourself right now koinonia are you celebrating what jesus is doing hallelujah we're going to take please sit down for a few minutes we'll take a few a few testimonies right now very quickly to the glory of the name of the Lord please let me know when you're ready so that we'll hurry up God is healing people supernatural healing in the name of Jesus Christ this man what is that on your neck it's a collar huh you don't you your neck does not you, you feel pain huh or oh, you can't move your neck huh it grab it let a doctor help us explain this so i don't know what is okay my neck gravitates to the left when Gra i try when i try to move it to the right it goes back to the left it doesn't move so it goes back to the when oh, when you move, the neck moves back. Yeah, moves Dave, back. what is that? Yes, it's called torticolis. Yes, it's called torticolis. 
It's the spasm of the neck. It's, no matter what he does, he goes back to um, the intended position. Oh, it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay. Can I pray for you? Place your hand there. Carry your collar. Come with it. Someone help him. Where are you coming from, sir? Where are you coming from? From Abuja? Yeah. Place your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't know what this is called, but I know it is demonic. In the name of Jesus, right now, I stretch my hands. Let there be a miracle for you. You see, something is happening to you. I'm seeing like fire just rest upon you. I wouldn't have called you except that I sensed that a miracle was happening to you. I cursed that devil now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know how long it has been, but right now I declare, let there be a supernatural miracle over your neck. In the name of Jesus. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Just place your hand there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look at this. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Turn. Keep it there. Look at this. Hallelujah. 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 Sir, stand up. Do it again. Move left. Don't be afraid. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, come on. Hallelujah eh. Hallelujah eh. In the name of Jesus Christ Sir, please look at me I want you to believe in miracles Don't let the devil make you think you are just acting This is why not acting movies here In the name of Jesus Christ I declare that what has happened to you now It remains permanent In the name of Jesus Christ Please return to your seat rejoicing. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So, please come. Very quickly, so, yes. So, Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge for, you know, people with problems with their wrists. With they, their wrists. Yes. So, these four people we're having here. Check, check yourself. Let's see it. Any pain? How long has it been for you? How, what of you? Two months. Four years plus. Four years plus. Check it now. Any pain? It's completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare it remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. Please stop. So you also gave a word of knowledge regarding people with pains in their neck, their back, and... And the waist. How long? Okay. It's been four years because I saw and it comes once in a while. I even forgot that the pain was there. I was standing in the gap for my family. Okay. And I began to feel heat sensation when you declared the pain. I began to feel the heat. So I, 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 I can, before now, I can't bend. Bend now. Bend now. Any pain. Come on, Koinonia. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, I declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So everyone here have one or you know, two different situations of pain in their body. Okay, please pain. Come, All of you forward. here. Please come forward. Just bring them forward here. Where is... Okay, I will listen to all, but I want to listen to that mama's testimony. That, that, that our mother, I want to know what happened to her. In the name of Jesus, all of you here, please lift your hands. Every pain, whether around your joint, wherever it is, the miracle that has happened to you, the power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw light right now on one of you in the name of jesus christ let it be the end of it 
because yours is not just pain this is witchcraft i command that devil to go never to return again in the name of jesus i bless you you are healed you are healed forever in jesus name yes please yes sir apostle mama here has had challenge with her knee for over four years she could not fold your knee her let her talk yes. she couldn't fold for the past four years she went to the hospital before before i can't fold my leg please help us with the mic but today i can fold it no you can't fold your legs before, go ahead yes. Yes. Go ahead. Any pain? No. Look no. at this. Completely. For the past four years, sir. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Go ahead. Very quickly. Movement in our body for the past five years. He says something snaky moves around. So when you mention the case, she touched her stomach and her chest. Then she fell under the anointing and now she's sound and whole. Where are you from? Lagos. Lagos. State of origin? Ogun State. In the name of Jesus, that devil leaves you now, never to return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, this please. This boy has had kidney issues for years, so he couldn't breathe very well. When you mentioned the case, he fell under the anointing and now he, he couldn't can breathe. breathe very well. Now he can My breathe. My friend, now. breathe. Breathe in. <laughs> Look how determined he is. Breathe in and out. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will never, never return to you again yeah. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please spinal pain for the past two years he said he couldn't turn his neck and he could not stand for long but the power of god came upon him now the pain is gone you, you, what do you mean you couldn't i was always having discomfort i can't find it do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before lift your hand stretch like you are stretching any pain it's gone completely in jesus name we declare it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit yes Okay, we are still on. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, this is God's miracle upon the two mamas we have here. Hallelujah. Speak in house, any in language house, you can go ahead. Speak in English. Me fari enzu mama. Yenzu na di shi soki enzu. Kigudu. Run. Oh, look at this. She's complaining that she, for a long time, she couldn't sell because of a pain on her limb, and now it's gone completely. It will never return to you, Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and excel. And I pray, in addition to this, may God prosper you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, please. Let's celebrate God for her. Similarly, Mama also has okay. been having this problem for more than a year. Praise the Lord. This leg. Since uh, the COVID-19 lockdown, around March, I've been having these pains. I, can, I don't go out. I had, if, if my husband is not going to church, I will not go to church because I cannot climb bike. But you can't climb bike? No, I can't climb bike. And see my leg now. Yes. Come on, are you celebrating what Jesus has done? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never, never return to you, Mama. Amen. You are healed now. You are healed forever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's celebrate her. Yes, please. Apostle, a very interesting case. She has a very strange condition. Well, I'm not a medical person, so I will not attempt to explain. <laughs> but, okay, so we have a medical person here, and I think... Okay, go ahead. Praise the Lord, sir. She just told me now that she used to have conjunction in her chest. I she has to have conjection in her chest so okay. she's able to breathe very well okay her lungs will be congested and all that then her bp is always high so her blood pressure is always high yes okay to confirm that i asked her can i go and bring our bp apparatus to confirm if it has actually gone down she said yes so i went to bring it so i had checked the bp night has gone up i would have shown the camera it was 129 to what what used to read 150 100 and above before wow in the name of jesus christ we declare let there be a miracle for you right now your bp returns back to normal in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please so apostle we have a very strange miracle here hmm. um so please my go ahead praise the lord my name is Remy Adjuku, a politician oh um two weeks ago, the last um, miracle healing miracle service i came then I found out that I was healed. I, was, I, didn't, I didn't even think about it. I could walk around. My son was 
tried to video my everything. He was surprised. This is how many people start because he doesn't believe in all these things. Well, Com- I went from South Africa, I said yes, it is. But the third day after the healing, I started having that dream again. Then I said, what, what is that? So I called my son in South Africa and he said, Mommy, your house must still have something that is not uh, of God. Hmm. So maybe it's in gas or something. But this today, today, yes. when I came, I was telling the, my neighbor who sat with me, I said, I'm not sure. I had to walk out, walk about, and try and stretch my body. And then make sure that I'm not. And, and right now, what happened to you, Mama? I feel stronger. Hmm. Just a minute, Apostle, maybe just to jump in here. She actually had what they call a motor skill disorder. Her body begins to tremble. So, in fact, for her, that was a shock. So, her body shakes, and um, I think. Like, like Parkinson's? Yes. Or? Yes. So, um, I feel okay. Wow. But I can dance for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I hope I'm, I'm not mistaken. The one time governorship, governorship aspirant in Lagos. Oh, I'm so, my God. Truly, oh, she stopped shaking. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry we didn't recognize to honor you. May God bless you, ma. And even in politics, may God take you to the heights you desire. We declare that this devil of shaking all around your body as it has stopped now, it stops forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's celebrate her. Amen. Okay. Yes. Apostle, Mama has had lump in her abdomen for two years. Let now. her speak. Now, the one strange thing about this is that the lump sucks her blood. So every time they give her blood, the, the lump will suck. Please the let blood. her speak. Uh, for the last, since 2018. Is, is this I the best lo- of the sound? Please help us. Since 2018, I was losing weight. And I went to my doctor. They found out that my blood level was low. And my stomach was hurting. There was a big lump, and it always hurt me. So when they give me blood, the blood will high, and then the following day, it will go back down. So, and then I had heart problem, and then I was operated on my lungs because my blood was so low. So when I determined that I must come here. And that's why I wore two pieces. So that I said, when they were talking about this, I would put my hand on my stomach. And as I put my hand on my stomach, on this side, and as the apostle was praying, the Holy Spirit fell on me. And I felt the heat all over me. And now the pain is gone. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, it will never return to you again. And the Lord is taking away the spirit of death completely from your family. Where is your husband? He passed away in 2017. Where is your son? He passed away. I have my oldest son passed away in 2011. Every spirit that kills the men in your life, I use as a point of contact to pray. Whatever will make people suffer and when it's time for them to stay, they die. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit now. And, and, my, and my youngest son passed in 2013. 2011, 13, 17. I lost all my kids. I only have one son left. How many sons do you have left? One. Out of? Out of three sons. And the youngest in the name of Jesus mama don't worry uh, that one son we have may God make him equal to 10 sons together that one son you have we are standing as a family here to pray for you that in the name of Jesus you may not seem to have a husband and all the sons that should take care of you in old age may have gone but if the son is here or maybe he's following online we are praying for you May God give you the strength of ten sons. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Let's celebrate very quickly. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of love in the praise. 
10 years long in the breast. Disappeared. 10 years. 10 years gone. Disappeared, confirmed by the medical person. Please let her talk. Um, praise God. Hallelujah. It's on my left breast. I've, I've had it uh, counting, I think, either 10 years or more. Okay. I've, I've run the checks on it. They found in the hospital, but you mentioned it and shortly afterwards I, I was able to put my hands in my clothes and I don't completely it's gone in the name of Jesus Christ where are you coming from here in Abuja I live in Abuja in the name of Jesus Christ I declare it will never return to you again madam it will never return to you again in Jesus name uh, let's see how many yes sir let's see how many we can take so more. apostle we need to hear this um, we need to hear this one. So, sir, I can't explain the, there was a name, the medical terminology. You know, these medical people, they frustrate us sometimes. You just stand and they call something that looks like um, a whole verse. Okay, Apostle, the mother has lumbar spondylosis. Oh, I know that one. Yes. That demonic thing that stops people from, I know yes. that one. For the past five years. So they've been trusting God and believing God for a miracle. No, the mother uses a lumbar corset. So okay. in the course of the service, he called them and asked them to connect in faith. And now the mother can do what she could not do. Uh, no more corset. From where? She where is your stay. mother now? She's at home. She's at home. She, in Abuja, yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Wherever she is, if she's fallen, Mama, we salute you. We congratulate you. In the name of Jesus, that miracle remains permanent. Yeah lumbar spondylosis in jesus name you leave mama and we declare she's healed now and healed forever and f you for standing what are you trusting god for no i didn't say kneel down please stand up our time is going my friend what are you trusting god for think before you talk don't just speak um, <laughs> yeah don't be afraid um, I, 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 I heard this. God have told me that I'm, into, I'm called into ministry. Um, what I want is to have double portion of your anointing. Sir. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. You people uh, sit down. Our time is going. Listen. He's a very wise person. But... But let me, let me, let me, you think I'm going to just impart and take, go and read your Bible. You people think anointing is, mm -mm, God doesn't work like that. You are, you are, listen, my friend, don't worry. God is going to, it is, it is my joy that God will raise multiples of this. You get the point. But there is a process in the spirit, huh? But I want to pray for you. What do you do now? I mean, told me, I was doing business before, but if I start explaining it, it is too, too long. Listen, I want you to take care of that, your mother first, eh? Yes, sir. It's when you can eat all that you have the strength to even do what you are doing. So I want to pray for you. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, believe what I'm saying. Father, empower this, my friend, that one day you will come and stand here. May God use relationships to change your life. In the name of Jesus, may God raise a helper to just hold your hand and help you. I release this grace upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Very quickly. you spoke about the condition of malaria and hold on actually, please hold on please so she was actually placed on drip right on this ground oh you were placed on drip here by yes. the medical team yes sir what happened to you malaria and they, they placed you on drip yes. while service was going on and an object was has been moving around her body for how long you see now? all these objects that see through this one week ago and and right now what happened to you I'm okay. they removed the drip yes <laughs> It's good to have medical people who have faith. Check yourself. Both of you, are you sisters? I've been having migraine for over 10 years. So after the prayers, it comes back and malaria. So after the prayers, you mentioned the case. I was laying hands on my head. So I didn't want to come out because it has happened for over 10 years. So I went into the restroom because once I perceive anything that has fragrance, it sparks it off. So, but as I went in there, I couldn't even perceive anything. That was how I knew that I'm completely healed. You see, that's how you know it's a demonic thing. For both of you, in Jesus' name, let there be supernatural miracles for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. 
Let's let's see if we can Sir, take two or three more. Striking testimony. Yes, you go ahead. Word of knowledge of HIV. HIV. Yes, she has gone to take the test now from the medical team, and she and it's, it's negative. Negative. Twelve years. Twelve years. She's under the Hallelujah. Listen, let, let, let me tell you this. We have, we have very professional medical people. So don't you think that it's just, we have very, some of our people work in some of the, 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 the renowned institutions in this city. So if I tell you that someone was checked, we are people of integrity, we will not come and embarrass ourselves before the world. 12 years. Ma how many years? 12 years. You prayed with me September 14th. I came to see you with my husband after suffer, suffering from a lot of shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Yes. But I thank God today. I and what happened it. now? It came out. This is the doctor. Yes, go ahead. I ran the test three times and it all came out negative. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne. We raise a sound, we raise a sound. For he is God and God alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Can I tell you this? HIV is a wicked and demonic whatever. And let me tell you, don't you think everyone who gets HIV got it from maybe living a wayward life? I have prayed for whole families where someone came in the dream, true story, with a syringe and injected them physic in the dream and they woke up physically with HIV. So not everybody you see with HIV don't stigmatize anyone you see that now because there are people who have this thing for various reasons but this is why god puts a miracle service imagine the shame and reproach three times three times father ma madam don't cry huh? in the name of jesus christ everything you have lost as a result of this reproach not only has God healed you, but we declare a restoration. Yeah. Opportunities and all kinds of relationships you have lost. Let there be restoration right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. She has had severe heart issues. In fact, her, her brother is a medical doctor. Because of how serious the case was. Heart issue. Heart issues. She, weakness all around her body. She couldn't climb stairs. But the power of God came upon her. And she can raise up her hand very well. Give All this mic. she could not do before. Give her the mic. When I came during the prayer, I couldn't even raise this paper up. Like I had to be bringing. My raise hand it up. Down. Let the devil see it. Come, my dear, run. Come and climb up. Hallelujah! Hey. Hallelujah! Hey. Hallelujah! Hey. heart condition couldn't even raise that thing up you see how bad the devil is if you cannot raise your hand up the same way he brings down people's hands he can bring down people's finances he can bring down people's honor everything that has been brought down that you could not raise up kaparus katebalakata in the name of jesus here at this miracle service if god could raise a hand back may he raise your finances back May he raise your honor back. May he raise your wisdom back. May he raise your fire back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Quickly. You mentioned cases of skin rashes, hitches. The part of he has had it since 2009. What is that? Skin hitches, rashes on the skin. Rashes? Yes. Okay. The no, no, no. Please, we don't have time for the text. Just straight the to the The power of God came upon him yes. and he sounds now. Completely. Completely. The same thing with her. 
the same thing with you yes how long what happened to you i don't know the, the, the skin rashes just came since six months now i've been taking medications nothing and, and you, now you just mentioned i'm not feeling any you're any not feeling stuff. the itch yes. again in the name of jesus it will never return to you in jesus name yes sir so apostle just quickly praise god um some three weeks ago i had a miscarriage and i lost so much blood and as a result of that i've been having a numbing on my, oh dear. my left leg so coming into this place tonight i felt the power of god and you mentioned my case you said somebody came with a left knee um problem three weeks ago three weeks ago so mm. immediately i felt perfectly okay i can do everything do you have now. children no how long have you been married Last year, do you believe in miracles yes, sir. place your hand on your stomach father in the name of jesus look at me you believe in jesus i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names i command that devil i'm seeing let her go right now in the name of jesus christ out of her now it's not miscarriage anything these are demons from the pit of hell be delivered right now let me pray for everyone here trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus whether for you or your loved ones i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead return with miracle children return with miracle children return with miracle children my dear tell her to write it god will give her a baby boy if her husband is here write it god bless you in the name of jesus remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for the lord is doing a new thing for you yes sir so a person he has a very strange condition when he sits under the ac no matter how low it is he begins to find difficulty breathing and it actually affects him so he has a very severe headache just from that experience. once you sit under yes. ac once sits under the ac so headache or kata man of god i greet you in jesus name amen and my name is emmanuel um, yes just just a condition so, sorry yes. because so, of time so just for time yes. sake apostle so the moment you prayed for healing for people with migraines and all he just a miracle for him instantly. for nine uh, years he's nine years for nine years you can't sit under ac I can't sit under ac and anytime i go out with my governor to work with him i do cover my nose and uh, immediately i i come in today for the miracle service and i discover that i am supposed to remove my face mask. in the name of jesus christ Amen. i pray for you it is permanent it never returns to you again in jesus name please let's have two here and then maybe my god there are so many testimonies do you know what let me tell you this if you are unable to testify today don't close down your testimony we need to hear what jesus is doing the medical team you can get it we can collate it and then by next week we can invite you to come and let the house know what jesus is doing it's not a good thing to be silent over profitable testimonies they help strengthen the body more than just showing that the man of god is powerful the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy just one two or three striking ones and then we'll have yes sir so sir these are sportsmen and it will be interesting to actually hear what they have to say about their conditions so yes sir straight to the point. yes i have serious problem with my left leg i'm in abuja presently because the physiotherapist is taking care of the leg for like a month my left leg I what do you do i play football oh you're a footballer yes i, I was playing for canoe pillars before i had the injury and then i left for two years so i can't really work well i can't really play well i've been struggling with it i've done all x-ray yes. the scan and the rest and then during the anointing when he mentioned the left leg somebody cannot really do stuff and there, there's yes. always pains there so i didn't want to i had to go to the bedroom and check and then when i came back my friend is sitting there i said maduka my leg i can't feel the pain again he said check it now me. check it completely you were playing for cano pillars yes, before yes sir can i pray you really want to play football professionally yes, let me pray for you look at me my friend believe in the power of god you will be surprised there is a grace that can shift people i stretch my hands what's your name shama shama tanzi don't rise and run away from god though, because let me just give you a disclaimer most people 
they use God when they get there they just dump him and enjoy God is raising people who love him but I stand by the God of heaven see there is a king maker anointing king makers never become kings themselves but they can enthrone kings and dethrone kings I stretch my hands now and I pray for you my friend carry this grace go to the field I pray that God will use you marvelously you will be a source of pride to your family let this be the beginning of great days in your life in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. So oh. a similar condition, but he popped his knee playing basketball. You're a basketball. footballer too? No, I was playing basketball a few, mix, uh, few months back. So I popped my left knee. Okay. I couldn't walk out with a limp. And now? And now, as soon as you Check yourself. Say, I can jump. Check yourself. <laughs> Check yourself. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, this healing remains permanent and the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Let's have a last one from this our little one. So, Apostle, this is interesting. He couldn't fold his legs, like bend his legs, but now... How old, how old are you, my friend? Eleven. Eleven. You couldn't fold your leg. What happened? I was playing ball. He you were born playing, that way? Playing, no, he okay, was playing ball. Okay, go ahead. Fold it now. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. <laughs> Supernatural miracle. May God raise you to become a mighty vessel in his hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please, Apostle, very quickly. Three years partial deafness in the left ear. God, she couldn't hear properly with it. Your but left now, ear? Sir. How long? Over three years now. Can you imagine this? Yes, but now I can hear perfectly. Very clearly? Yes, very clearly, sir. May you hear the voice of your destiny helper. Yes. That ear that has opened, whether spiritually I use because there is physical deafness there is financial deafness there is destiny deafness i'm praying for you the same way god opened her ears in the name of jesus christ in every realm of life where your ears cannot hear let it be open right now in jesus name you will not hear the voice of your enemy as that ear is open you will hear the voice of your helpers in jesus name i pray yes please Partial blindness. Her right eye, she couldn't see with it properly. So the doctor confirmed it. They asked her to close the left eye and then ask her to see. And How she long, can see. madam? Three months and now, sir. And you, you could not see with which, which of them? The right eyes. Close the one you could not see with. Close the one you could see with. No, she's closing two of them. Close. How, how do I tell her now? Yes. Madam, Sir. walk. Walk to the camera. Walk to the camera. Just follow the camera. Follow the camera. Look at what God is doing. Ah, look at this. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. That's all right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare. You can, you can clearly see. When you see her eyes, you can see that there's, it's almost as if she's completely blind. In Jesus' name, we correct this situation now. In Jesus' name. Please let that be the last for now so that we can... You mentioned pelvic girdle pain. Are you together with the boy? Okay, so let's, let's just do it with the boy once and for all. And that will be it. Yes, please. The pelvic girdle pain has gone down. Okay, what happened to you, Mama? I had a pelvic girdle pain and for a very long time, but very, very lately it's been very painful. So during the praise worship, I danced as if I, I've, I never danced before. So uh, yes. after I felt the pain was gone. Completely. Completely, but when pressing it, you will I still feel still a bit feel of pain, pain, yes. But when the word of knowledge came, the pain was gone. Gone. Completely. Gone. Check it now. Any pain? Any pain? Secondly, there was something like a phlegm, like cough on my throat. Okay. I tried so many times to cough it out, but it let let him testify with the boy after. Yes. But just now, it's gone. It's gone. It will never return to you again, Mama. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Very quickly. 
If, if you are yet to confirm it, that's all right. We'll pray. You mentioned the case of bipolar, so he just came to present. Oh, the, uh, the in the name case. of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over the little boy. How old is he? Nine years. Who is? Nine. 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 Yes. How old? Nine years. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over the little one. Amen. Bipolar. Amen. Be completely healed right now. Amen. Okay, two of them. In Jesus' name, I lay my hands on both of them. Oh, you can see this one is not bipolar. Now, this looks like autism. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing for both of them. You know, sometimes these conditions can be so challenging. You can't imagine how it is. In Jesus' name, let there be a miracle for them. And I, I pray for all of you. We apologize that we didn't have the time. But I pray that your miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name. And for all those who have received their miracles at home, I decree and declare supernatural healing for you. In Jesus' name. And it remains permanent. Can you stretch your hands here for a moment? We're about rounding up. If you can stand, please. This is the final stage. Apologies, it's a miracle service and sometimes it will stretch us a bit. Just stretch your hands in one minute as we decree and declare. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. This, for me, is one of the major part of this meeting because this is the most accurate representation of people's desires. We see in part, we prophesy in part. doesn't matter who is healed. Sometimes you just cannot minister enough. But I want you to stretch your hands right now and begin to declare over these requests we decree and we declare online offline we declare by the spirit of the living god father we decree and declare let there be miracles turn everyone's mourning to dancing sorrow to joy in the name of jesus christ every garment of shame for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified i decree and declare right now over every request here i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead that every request here is turned for a testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ I'm praying if there is any death sentence here represented in the name of Jesus we avert it right now yeah. embarrassing financial conditions we turn that shame and that reproach to honor in Jesus name yeah. I decree and declare that every victory that Satan may seem to be having over every life we decree the same way Jesus rose up from the dead. In the name of Jesus, everything that looks dead, it must come back to life. And as I would always declare, I decree upon these requests that these Egyptians you see today, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God, may you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let me speak over your life. I truly believe in the power of prophecy every financial door I just sense in my heart to pray if you don't believe it don't worry wait for what you believe that I'm talking about then you receive but I pray right now every financial door that has been closed over everyone here in the name of Jesus causing all kinds of constraints and inconveniences in the name of Jesus let that door be open now financial doors be open now financial doors be open now for individuals for institutions for families financial doors be open now so that you will have supplies that will give you the opportunity to focus on your work with God and your destiny again I pray that those doors be open now hear me anyone here who is in any kind of debt personal debt corporate debt 
in the name of jesus the son of the living god by the power that raised christ up from the dead come out of that situation now everyone who has promised to help you and has forgotten about you in the name of jesus right now here at this miracle service i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning you let the book of remembrance be open concerning you hallelujah there is a garment of favor that an individual can wear and you can wear and move and everything around you will attest to the fact that you carry that garment every garment of shame and reproach prophetically i remove it from you right now and i decree and declare for your shame may god grant you access to the garment of favor favor in the city favor in the country favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the night in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please help them i want to pray if there is any addiction that the devil is using to trap you because many people's finances go because of all kinds of addiction i decree and declare right now any addiction that is trapping your life trapping your destiny here at this miracle service the power of that addiction over your life let it be broken now 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 We believe in winning families any family here that is under siege troubles every day joblessness weakness death in the name that is above all names i speak over every family here represented step into a new season of favor I pray for your spiritual life because you see no matter what else works in your life if your prayer life your word life your passion for God and for the things of God if it goes down everything went down therefore I decree in the name of Jesus for someone's prayer life here that is yet to catch fire I release my faith with you from tonight spiritual laziness that will not allow you pray that will not allow you fast that will not allow you study scripture in the name of jesus we declare the spirit that is behind it let it live your life now i declare fresh fire over your spirit man fire for prayer fire for word study fire for fellowship in the name of jesus christ Finally, I pray for you. We are stepping into October. I want to speak over your life. Everything you saw at the beginning of this year that your hands has not yet handled between the remaining days, now and the end of September, I decree and declare you will enter October with that expectation in your hand. You will enter October with that expectation in your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise tonight. Father, we honor you and we bless you. Now, please look up. Next month is um, next month has so many things. Dearly beloved. I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos Kata Branda Kata Bakotos Koto Breka Teka Nekata
the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 